Hi friend, how are you? Hope you all are fine. Today we come with a new video. This video is all about that how you configure guarding vision software for Mac. Basically, a guarding vision software is a remote desktop application which allows you to view your camera or NVR from remote locations. So basically a VMS with video management system mm, so so let us start the video one thing I would like to request you that please like share and subscribe our channel we have a lot of video but we don't get much subscriber so please subscribe my channel as you now open Safari as you enter guarding vision for Mac okay so when you open this website here you find what the actually the guarding vision software is here it is written that Guarding Vision is a mobile software has been designed to help a business effectively to operate like this. Okay, key feature is here different that video playback real time. But this app is basic is also available for Mac and Windows. So we are downloading that app. So here you find that there is no download option. So one website is very very popular, which is called which is CCCB Desk. In this website, you find every kind of uh, software download easily in a single click. So here it is. Just click on this. Click on this. Uh, I need to install this software for uh, Mac so I would click on this it will take a few minutes to go to that page here you can found the file it will take a few minutes so just wait Now it is downloaded. Just click on this show in folder. Here you found a uh, Mac PKG. Just double click on this. So uh, here you find a warning Mac OS cannot verify this app, it is free from malware. So Safari download this file today, it is written. So it is basically a third party uh, software. So, how to install third party software? I make a different video. You can go to the, my channel and you, you can find and I also give you a, a link of that video in in, uh, in description or you, you find in also an i button. So now you just click on system preferences, click file and security, security and privacy and wait for a moment and just click open anyway. And when you click on open anyway, this file is ready to just click on next time. Now click on open. When you, it is asked for a file to download, to install, just click on continue. Click on install and it is asking for a password. Just, uh, just put the password of your PC. Click on install software. Wait for a few minutes. Once it is 
installed this pop up message will come that the installation was successful just click on close and it's your choice whether you want to move this file to bin or keep i i prefer to keep let's close this button and close this also close the website also so click on the launch pad and here you find guarding vision just click on this and now it will ask for super user click admin and click put and put a password according to your choice you should remember this password first time it will take a few minute now click on this is a uh, interface of the software here you find everything remote playback e map main view device management so first step is that you should click on device management and here it it is for asking for a, to add a device in in few case it will auto automatically shown here okay if it is not shown here you will just click on this click on add and here you find a different type of adding portion so if you have a local if you need to connect then it is ip and domain and here is ip segment the batch import everything okay add offline devices just click on this okay so i will first connect is this is to offline and then connect to online so put uh, in this uh, text box you can enter anything to remember for example you have multiple and we are in multiple locations to remembering so you just put this so i have name at test and we are okay and my email address is uh, sorry my ip address is 192.168.1. okay just click on this is the username of the of your device means if you have a 32 channel nvr or a particular ip camera then you should enter a username and password of that device sometimes people is confused here so admin and my password is this i have a four channel nvr just click on four it is four okay click on add Okay, here is message import success succeeded. Now click on main view. Okay, let's double click on this. Okay, here you find your camera. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice day.